University of Birmingham's virtual open day for North American students. My name is Ben Goodwin and I graduated from the university a few years ago. I did a BA in history. Uh, my first introduction to the university was on a visit to campus, but we know that's harder for our international students, so we're running a virtual open day for you to get a taste of life at Birmingham and also to ask our professional staff for the advice you need to come and study here. We'll be running an online activity for you across our virtual tour site and that includes interviews from our Edgebaston campus as well as here, our Shakespeare Institute in Stratford-upon-Avon. We'll also be at our Guild of Students and our Bourne Book Sports Pitches where we'll be focusing on our sports offering. Uh, you can also watch some of our popular videos on life at Birmingham. Uh, they're written and presented by our own students as well. There's also live Q&As taking place where you can quiz a current student on what it's like uh, to study here or ask for advice from our recruitment team on anything from visas to entry requirements. So, the University of Birmingham. We've got 28,000 students studying on some 350 courses. We've just been named the Sunday Times and Times University of the Year 2013 to 2014 and have recently been ranked 15th in the UK by the Guardian's University Guide for 2014. We're in the top 20 universities in the UK and have seen an impressive rise to 62nd. That's in the QS World Rankings. Here at the University of Birmingham we welcome North American students to our campus as full-time undergraduates and postgraduates um, as well as on study abroad semesters studying diverse courses in all five of our academic colleges. All of this takes place on our beautiful 250 acre campus which we'll show you a bit more of uh, later on as well as on our other sites at Selly Oak, Ironbridge and here in the beautiful Stratford-upon-Avon. One of the best aspects of Open Day is that you get the chance to meet current students who study and live here and quite frankly you don't want to hear me waffle on for much longer. So uh, we've asked two of our current students uh, to come and have a chat with us now. Kate and Christopher, thank you for joining us. Um, you both study here at the uh, Shakespeare Institute. So do you both want to tell us uh, what you actually study here? Sure, yeah. I'm on the Masters in Shakespeare Studies. And I'm on the Masters in Shakespeare and Creativity. So Kate, what uh, attracted you uh, to the uh, Shakespeare Institute initially? Um, well, a few things, but one of the biggest is actually studying Shakespeare in his birthplace, in the proximity to the um, Shakespeare Birthplace Trust, just down the road, the Royal Shakespeare Company, just that way, and this incredible library here. So that's a part of it, but also the community as well. Wonderful. And um, what were your first impressions on arrival here at the Shakespeare Institute? Yeah, well, Kate, I mean, just touched on it, really the community um, of people here, it's, it's not a very big complex here. I mean, it's kind of a small, intimate space. And um, as new students, uh, we were kind of brought into that community that was already here. Um, they have a few orientation events and we, you know, were introduced to afternoon tea. Um, oh, I love <laughs> afternoon tea. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so there's just, uh, between the academic staff and the students here, you know, there's a, there's a sense of coming and belonging. But I suppose as well, you do have the support of the big campus over in, in Birmingham itself as well. Yeah, no, certainly. And there were, there were orientation events there as well. So you have this kind of, you know, dual, dual introduction going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah going on. Yeah. So you get the best of both worlds here. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and Kate, tell us a little bit about your course. What's, what's your favorite thing about your course here? Well, what really attracted me to this course is that it actually melds both the academic side and sort of the creative or the performative side. So of just seven of us. There's musicians and actors and poets and playwrights and just the whole lot. And so when you put that together, it has this incredible synergy. And the fact that it's enough to be able to handle both so well, it's just incredible. Gosh, yeah, every day must be completely different it from is, the last. It is, absolutely, and every day has its own adventure. I thought that it might be a little quiet here in Stratford, but I learned yeah. very quickly that there's always something going on, and you actually have to be really careful not to stretch yourself too thin. It's incredible. Great stuff, great stuff. And, and, and Christopher, um, obviously you're here uh, to study for your, for your postgrad, but um, what, what other things do you like to get up to away from your studies? Right. Um, one of the major things that goes on here as a, as a student um, theater production company called the Shakespeare Institute Players, and that's one of the primary ways um, that students get involved outside of the classroom. I've been able to be in a few productions here, um, and there's also another a company called the Ketterer's Men that was set up in honor of a student who sadly passed away. Mm -hmm. um, but those productions take place here, give people an outlet. There's also the football pitch, 
in the back of the garden that uh, every Friday there's a match. I, I, I'm interested to hear that you call it football now, not soccer. How, how long did that transition take? Right, it took a few months right, to get used to that. But, uh, and my, you know, football's improving, getting there. Okay, yeah. all right. So, well, the World Cup's coming up, so who knows what might happen. Yeah, who knows. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Kate, you touched on it briefly, but what benefit does it bring to study your subjects in the country of origin and in, and in you know, in the, in, in the place where Shakespeare, you know, was born? There's really nothing like it. I mean, I looked, I literally looked all over the world for this program, and it's the only place to do it. Um, part of it is the, the proximity to the resources. The other is just understanding, okay, he was a Warwickshire lad, as they call him, in, one of the, in the Garrick's Jubilee, and this is Warwickshire. You know, what does that look like, and how did that actually inform his own imagination? Um, and also just, again, the resources. It's just incredible. I cannot emphasize that enough. There's so much here that you can't get anywhere else, and it's at your fingertips. And also as well, in, in Birmingham, in the city of Birmingham itself, you've yeah. got the new library as well, and they've got some great resources there. Yeah, not just, not just great. I mean, I think it's the second largest in the world for Shakespeare studies. And so the city of Birmingham has the Shakespeare Memorial Room now, and also this incredible library for that, as well as the Cadbury Research Center at um, the library at the main campus, which has resources that you can't touch anywhere else. You can touch them there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Christopher, am I, am I right in thinking that you live here in Stratford? Yes, I do. Yeah, I live in a, in a house just right in town, actually. Um, so how are you finding that then? I mean, it's great. Stratford's a lovely town. Yeah. And um, the proximity to the, to the Institute, being able to pop over here um, has really been lovely. I mean, and to be steps away from the Royal Shakespeare Company and be able to really see a show every week, basically, yeah. um, is just an amazing opportunity. Yeah. And they do quite good deals for, for students and things, don't they, at the, uh, the Royal Shakespeare Company? Yeah, there's something called the Key, where if you're yeah. 16 to 25, you can get £5 tickets, which is incredible. Yeah. And, um, and as well, I suppose, being in Stratford as well, you've got all the amenities of a, of a, of a large town, really, as well. Right, yeah, and, and you know, immediate access to other places in the UK as well. Yeah, Birmingham's just, Birmingham's just a train ride away, and that's a really, it's a major city. Yeah. Um, London I've got, gone to quite a few times, it's only two hours by train. And, and Kate, um, just thinking back to, to your course, I mean, tell us about a typical day here at, at the Shakespeare Institute. What, what, what do you do as a student? You know, you walk in in the morning and then what happens? Well, typical is somewhat atypical, which is wonderful. So each day is different. But in terms of coursework, um, you might come and have a course. For instance, today we're having Shakespeare Ensemble. So we'll go in and we'll do some improvisations based on a Shakespearean text. And then after that, we'll go and maybe have lunch together. And then most of us will disperse to the library or to study for a bit um, and then you know sometimes we'll go out and get some sort of well we'll go to the pub <laughs> which is a fun experience um, but uh, it's really it's really and then in the evening you get to go either to a play reading on Thursday nights or to um, to rehearsal so it's always busy where do I enroll? I, I, want, I want to do that now, right now. Um, now, um, Kate, there's a distinct transition from American universities to that of, being, of studying here in the UK. How did, you, how did you cope with that change? Well, the first part is not to be a stranger to the faculty. I mean, it really is a close-knit community here. So having the opportunity to actually talk with them and get their opinions about things. And actually, I, I had conversations with Professor Fernie about the differences between, say, grading systems or expectations. Mm. And they're so kind and so welcoming, and they're more than happy to do that. Um, and also just um, be proactive. So ask questions and and the people here are so incredibly lovely that there's never something that I can't learn about that mm -hmm. you know yeah and you're both you're both scholars here mm -hmm. um, so Christopher tell us a little bit about the process you went through to, to, to get your scholarship right um, it was I mean it, it can be a bit of a long process yeah. and it's a very thorough process yeah. um, it began close to a year ago or, or yeah. actually even more than that um, and so there's an application process an interview process um, and really I mean through that it kind of puts you in, an, in a network of, mm -hmm. of people to um, that helps the transition really mm -hmm. as well yes. um, that you you get to meet other people who are also part of, of these scholarship programs yeah. um, and begin to build a, a network of people both at the university and new students who are mm -hmm. coming from abroad as well. Yeah. And, and how has this scholarship helped you while you've been here? 
I mean, without the scholarship, I wouldn't be here. So it's really the foundation of, of why I'm here in the first place. And then it's also, as I said, opened up these tremendous opportunities. Um, Kate and I had the opportunity to meet the U.S. ambassador to the U.K., um, through the scholarship Amazing. program, which as was, you do, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, that was just a few weeks ago, yeah. so another another typical day here. Yeah. Um, uh, and there are other um, days out um, in Birmingham that the that the university organizes. So mm -hmm. whether it's touring the cricket pitch in Birmingham, yeah, or um, the or the theater, Rip. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Did you know um, what cricket was before you came here? Uh, I had I had had a few tasters of cricket, but <laughs> I, I to be honest, I still am not completely clear but i know i'm i know more about what a bowler is now, yeah so which it's, is a bit different from Lincoln's, i've right yeah no it's true <laughs> i've lived in england for what well my whole life 28 years yeah. and <laughs> how long did i live there and i still don't get cricket yeah. and my brother plays cricket so you know yeah. that's uh, anyway right. um <laughs> all the better to go the, to the grounds then right yeah. exactly yeah. and find out a little bit more yeah so obviously we've got people who are listening while well, tuning in watching here from the usa and canada mm. um what one piece of advice would you um would you give to them in terms of studying here in the UK and at Birmingham? The first thing I would say, and Kate touched on this, would be to explore as much as you can um, and and try to find those things that fit and align with, with your interests because mm -hmm. it, is, it is more difficult to get here in person. Yeah. And so yeah. the resources online and being in touch with people who are very receptive uh, when you reach out to them is crucial, but you do have to make those steps. Yeah. Um, and then I... Besides that, once you get here, like Kate said, um, don't be a stranger. They're moving anywhere, it's going to feel new and different. But the more that you can jump in, the better and the quicker that transition will, will happen. Yeah. In terms of advice? Um, well, definitely get in touch with as many people as you can. Look at the resources as much as you can. I actually learned that picking up the phone was actually a lot more productive in doing the international sort of research than I anticipated. Um, so I would definitely recommend that. And then if there's any way that you can, one, be in touch with any students here so you can get sort of a bird's eye view, maybe contact the front office here and they might be able to put you in touch with a student. Um, and if there's any way that you can get here, um, that, that is actually really helpful because it will give you a sense of what it's truly like. Um, but of course, the Shakespeare Institute will welcome you whether you've been here before or not. So. Oh, you sold it like a pro there. Um, and and if, you're like, if, you're, if the people watching at home are anything like me, I, I just want to enroll now. So can you tell us a little bit more about the courses here? Uh, at the Shakespeare Institute, what, what exactly is on offer yeah. to a, a potential student? Well, there's quite a few. Um, there's the brand new program, the Shakespeare and Creativity, which I know I've plugged quite a few times because I love it. Um, but there's, <laughs> there's also the Shakespeare Studies, which is fab fabulous, Shakespeare and Education for teachers, um, Shakespeare and Theatre. Right. Um, there's something called, known by the, the acronym Massacre, which has to do with history. Um, and and Shakespeare um, and I should also say that there is a there's a wonderful opportunity here of distance learning and they do a really good job of enabling distance learners as well um, so if you can't actually come over here for job or family or other hmm. conditions I would actually really encourage you to look into it um, because that incorporates some on-site time too if you'd like to come um, so those are a, a few of the different resources that are available in addition, there's also the PhD um, yeah. program here, which <laughs> yeah. I think does one of the effects of that being here is that it does infuse the institute with a sense of, of research going on, yeah. which is exciting as well. Yeah. Both, I mean, for master students certainly, but also to have doctoral research happening here is yeah. is a yeah. And I would say, as as a part of that, they have this um, wonderful Thursday seminar every Thursday, <laughs> um, inventively enough, and yeah. it has um, world renowned scholars that come and speak. And actually, the whole institute Thursday is really the the main Shakespeare Institute day, and that. That's when all, all of the scholars from the Institute, MAs, PhD, are together in that room in the, in the beautiful hall, and we hear these amazing lectures. So um, that's just one of the cornerstones of the life here, and I didn't want to forget to mention it. Yeah. Thank you very much, Christopher and Kate. I really appreciate you taking your yeah. time out of your busy schedules. I know you've got to get to a seminar now, so I will let you go in a few moments' time. Um, but um, that's it. That's it from us at the moment. Uh, we'll be broadcasting a little bit later on from the Born Book Sports pitches. So we've got to hop on over to uh, main campus, and we'll be talking to uh, two students about their time so far uh, as study abroad students, uh, their involvement with sports, and how they've made their most. How they've made. Oh, I can't even speak today. How they've made the most of their time here at Birmingham. Thank you for watching. 
and we'll see you in a little bit a little a little bit later <laughs> bye